You have both that and dyslexia. You're all right, trying to fucking flex on my wife. <laughs> I heard your woman can count. <laughs> I mean, this side, you were very enthusiastic about the, the concept of a freestyle, so what would you like a rap about if you're over here? Manchester United! Manchester United. I mean, I mean, obviously one of the most popular football teams in the world, the team that I support for my sins. Um, what about, I mean, do you have a particular favourite player of United? Um, not particularly. Not particularly. Are you, are you aware of any player from Manchester United? <laughs> I love that. It's just the American grasp of our... He's like, I want to make him feel welcome. Uh, <laughs> the sport, where you kick it? With your feet. <laughs> OK, great. Cool. Manchester United will we'll throw them in. Uh, let's, let's come... What was that? Maguire. Well, oh, yes. So that's, that's the name of a football player for Manchester United. We really are going to alienate the room. I mean, he's not even going to know anything about the rap. You. <laughs> Harry Maguire, nicknamed Slabhead, born in Hull, terrible at defending, but cost £80 million. <laughs> um, exactly, that's what you need to know. We'll throw Harry Maguire in, but what would this side like a rap about? Macy Greenwood. Yeah, you can't keep naming... <laughs> And again, he's severely problematic because his, his partner alleged sexual abuse against him towards her and then retracted the statements after he threatened her further. So that allegedly. Um, he did he. Well, don't say that. Because the thing is, Mason Greenwood is based in Spain now, but P. Diddy could, could be here, couldn't he? OK, cool. So we, so far, we have Manchester United and Harry Maguire. We have P. Diddy. Um, afternoon tea. That feels like a heckle, man. That feels... Why don't you hold the microphone with your pinky out? Afternoon tea. OK, what's your favourite part of afternoon tea? Do you go for the scones, the cakes, or the, the scones? We pronounce it scone, because that's all right. Do you know, because what's the fastest cake? Scone. Um, oh, dyscalculia. Dyscalculia. That's the inability... It's well, dyslexia for numbers. Dyslexia for numbers. Thank you. That's good. Do you have that? I have both that and dyslexia. You have both that and dyslexia. All right. Trying to fucking flex on my wife. <laughs> I heard your woman can count. <laughs> dyscalculia, afternoon tea, Manchester United and, and Harry Maguire, not Mesmer, but P. Diddy. I mean, what about the P. Diddy? Because the thing is, this is all alleged again, just because I don't want to get uh, sued. What's particularly about the P. Diddy case are we going to focus on? Uh, your ability to rap like him? My ability to rap like him. <laughs> I've never stated that. <laughs> And I don't think Puffy was, was, you know, Puffy was like a kind of, I'm not going to praise him because that's awkward, but putting together that record label and kind of getting all that, it was good. Right. <laughs> so what's the suggestion from over here? Wed wed wedding and earthquake. Okay. Do you mind if we combine it? Cool. We earth wedding earthquake. Right. Um, but make some noise if it was your first earthquake that you've ever had. Oh. What, when was your last one? You've been through a few, me too, yeah. I used to live in LA. The fucking pussies over here. <laughs> Everyone was, I was in a cafe, everyone was just under the table, like, ah! Like, tut, 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 tut. <laughs> but they know, you know I'm British, so I'm just like, yeah, we get fucking tons of those in the UK. <laughs> Karmic payback for recently owning the world. Let's, um, let's, let's do this. Let's make up a rap about Manchester United, about P. Diddy, about dyscalculia, about wedding earthquake, and about afternoon tea. Uh, and don't worry, it will not be anywhere near as atrociously shit as you're expecting it to be. <laughs> They make this up every time as well, so this is entirely improvised. So get loud, make some noise, let's do this. Cool. A British guy rapping, yeah, I'm gonna help for your lady in the second row, struggling with Calclea, second row, that be number after two. I be understanding the numbers hard for you. You're like, okay, I'll run through. Mad respect to you, I can't count, I can't spell. Yeah, that's dyslexia, but dyscalculia may be likely, or I've never heard of it before, but obviously the words I ignore. Pick a dictionary, I be like, oh shit, I can't discover whether the numbers are there in it. She's smiling, don't worry. I'm not boasting, saying, yeah, you can't count, this is roasting. This a roast battle. A catch my eye, you really struggle. 
to multiply. Hey! Oh, that's a nice diss. Maybe sit down, take you for tea after this. And I teach you how to pour it, never ignore it. Smooth like silk, put the milk before it if you are a heathen. Nah, milk comes second. Otherwise, the ire of the royal family beckons. I reckon I could get a little cake, tiny little sandwiches. Make no mistake, it costs you quite a lot of money for the British dish. You just get it cheaper. Don't go to the Ritz Carlton or anywhere where they're charging a pretty penny. Want a British tea? Yeah, you know, I got so many people who will make a tiny little sandwich of course and then they cut off the crusts and you'll adore usually very pleasant you have it as 11s is ironically that means four o'clock the heaven is you be really struggling like now you're like shit what does the clock do basically it ticks why does everyone have a clock at all why are there these weird squiggles there on the wall how is this spelled what does it mean why is he talking about afternoon tea what is time when I look at that watch I really struggle like oh shit I need to keep it on lock like Harry Maguire you know he frowns got a big forehead he locks the defense down well admittedly he did it like four years ago and then we spent a lot of cash that's a lot of dough in the British lingo the parlance Mason Greenwood well he doesn't have a chance of playing for United again unless they invited him back you were like Manchester United good lad you had a crack that's a team there in the head what color do they wear Red. Of course, he knows it. We're setting up the rhyme. P. Diddy allegedly did crimes. People, they accuse him of doing bad stuff. You were like, look, this is pretty tough. Can you dance around any legal fees if you say something? I'll just say allegedly. Allegedly? Allegedly. He was up to stuff. He was like, oh, hello, ladies. Would you like to touch my genitals? They were annoyed. They were like, no, Puffy, you're a real bad boy. Who can blame it? The entertainment there. That's the chap. He was like, can you? You even do a rap well of course you're leaning back i really like it sir you look like a lumberjack that's the type i prefer but got the facial hair now the last thing we're heading i was so excited i was at a wedding it was beautiful the bride looked pretty in white she was standing there then she moved side to side i was like oh my gosh this is lasting for a while 4.7 magnitude down the aisle she was walking and she saw the groom i was so agitated because all the room started shaking no mistaking like a sun it boom the cake was quaking people like soon it didn't fall because 4.7 is nothing once you've lived in LA it's not a tough thing it's fucking easy yeah tell it to your face it's easier to survive than for puffy to beat the case hey. you guys are nice my name is Chris Turner thank you very much good night goodbye thank you.